Hello! Today we're making a delicious pizza pillow. So let's get cooking. What you're gonna need today is 3 fourths of a yard yellow flannel fabric, 1 eighth yard brown flannel fabric, and 1 eighth yard red flannel fabric. You will need two 21 by 18 inch pieces of batting to help hold the shape of your pillow, and one 12 ounce bag of stuffing. We're gonna start with the yellow flannel fabric, fold it in half, and you're gonna fold this in half again lengthwise. You're going to cut out a rectangle with a base of 9 inches, the center will be 19 inches long, and the outside edge will be 21 inches. You're going to cut down the middle that's folded so that it gives you two pieces. You're going to cut out two pieces of the same triangle in the batting. Cut out two long strips that are 3 inches wide. You want two strips that are 20 inches long. Grab your brown flannel fabric and you're going to cut out a 3 inch wide strip. Take one of your yellow triangles and leave a 3 8 inch seam allowance from the edge of the brown strip. You're going to leave a 3 8 inch seam allowance on the edges as well. You're going to cut off the top of the yellow triangle leaving a 3 8 inch overlap. You can eyeball this like I did or you can measure it out. Flip over your triangle, you're going to line up the edge with the brown strip. Go ahead and sew this with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You're going to cut off the excess edge trying to stay with the same angle. Once again, you can eyeball this or you can use a ruler as a guide. I actually forgot to sew on my batting at this point, so you're going to sew one of your triangle battings to this piece and one triangle batting to the solid yellow triangle piece as well with a 1 4th inch seam allowance. Take your second strip of brown fabric and lay that on top. You're going to sew this on with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Both of your seams should be on the same side. Layer on your second triangle and you're going to line it up carefully with the first one. Bring the top edge of the crest to meet the edge of the yellow triangle. I'm just going to put a pin in the center to help keep it in place and you're going to line it up together. Go ahead and sew them together with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. From here you can cut off the excess edge of the brown fabric. Even though I cut diagonally, just cut straight down. Go ahead and cut out two 3 by 3 inch squares in the brown fabric. Take your two yellow strips and you're going to place the two 3 by 3 squares on the edges of the yellow strips. Sew those together with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So you'll have something like this. Take your pizza with the added crust side up and we're going to add the strips to the edges. You want to meet the crust seams first. And then you can line up the rest of the strip with the edge. Do this on the other side as well. Sew this with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Make sure to stop sewing at the top seam. To 
make our pizza three-dimensional, you're going to grab where all the seams meet and bring the open end to the other open end. Go ahead and pin this together and you're going to do the same thing on the other side, pinching the crest seams and bringing the open ends together. Hold up the edges of the yellow strips and you're going to pin like a T and you can kind of see that I'm pinning straight up from the end of the triangle. Go ahead and sew these with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You should have something that looks like this. Since I had forgot to add the batting earlier, I just wanted to leave this part in so you could see how I added the batting later on. I just sewed the edges onto the seam allowance. Go ahead and cut off any excess fabric on the end of the triangle. You're going to fold over the top and you're going to meet the edges together and pin them down so that we can sew our pizza closed. I go back to the edge with the seam ripper and just take out the first couple threads just so that I can have the seam allowance fold over. Try not to pick out any more than that. Make sure to leave about a 4 inch gap. Go ahead and sew this with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, leaving your 4 inch gap open. Go ahead and turn your pizza inside out. We're going to cut out our pepperoni. You're going to grab your red fabric and fold over once and fold over again. And then you're going to cut out a quarter circle. Then just go ahead and shape them up so you have a nice circle. And you're going to cut out a few more of these. I cut out about 10. Go ahead and lay them out onto your pizza however you want it to look. We're going to hot glue them down. Now you can see that it's starting to come together. Go ahead and stuff your pizza till you have it nice and full. I'm going to make it a little easier by pinning some of the hole closed. Go ahead and grab your needle and thread and you're going to tie a knot in the end of your thread. We're going to start by going through the end of your opening and then we're going to start on one side of the opening, putting your needle one fourth of an inch through the fabric and pulling your thread through. Go straight across to the other side and repeat. You can see me break down the ladder stitch a little more in my previous videos. Go ahead and sew your whole opening closed. And once you get to the end, we're going to tie a knot. So you're going to go through the center, hold on to the side of the string that doesn't move, wrap it around your needle twice, and guide the knot down as you pull your thread. Go ahead and make another knot, and you can snip off the rest of the thread, leaving you with a nice clean seam. And that's all there is to making this delicious piece of pizza. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!